Hey, I'm the Wandering Newbie. It's time for more Record Keeper. Today, we have Dream 2.0. Oogalu. Ooga the Gaul. The Gaul. This is as far as I got in the 350. Um, whoops. If you're not on the Discord, and I will probably post this on Twitter at some point, um, the most heartbreaking 99% I have ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> who knows maybe on stream we'll get there but um an interesting fight in that unlike uh last time with the iron giant he can't be debuffed to all hell uh but the gimmick is kind of deals less damage on the whole but has a million ways to buff himself and also a good number of ways to debuff you so, keep an eye out for that shit. Um, you pretty much need to bring to this fight a power break of some sort, a attack mag break, a full break, and a dispel, or you're going to have a bad time. So, do yourself a favor and bring those. Also, note, has guaranteed paralyzed slows and interrupts that occur um the slow is fairly easy to avoid if you're doing at least decent dps uh the paralyzed though you will probably see uh generally you'll see the ones that hit slots one and five so prepare accordingly and have some way to remove paralysis even maybe off realm it for instance i'm bringing tyro glint because it's a very fast and easy way to remove it uh enkidu is also your friend for this <sighs> aside from all that yeah his damage isn't too high it's mainly finding a way to deal damage yourself and slotting a team in with enough debuffs to handle what he throws at you Dog. Dog. Bottom. In Dogga. And with that, we have been debuffed. Is that not the debuff move? Was one it was. Pretty sure. Eh. I'm not gonna hoot and holler about it. I'll take your word for it. So I don't have an attack mag for this early party. We'll see how this plays out. There's the debuff. It's the breath attack, right. As you can see by lightning dropping from doing quad nines to not quad nines. Yeah, a lot of his stuff respects row. A back row party helps a ton. As you can see here, Lightning is taking about twice as much damage.
Dream War would be the full break, the full buff, which we just canceled. That is the debuff again. And then if I'm remembering how the timing of this fight works, the Paralyze should be coming up next. No. I can't believe I'm wrong. What do I even believe anymore? Got there. Fight the second. Featuring Team Go Fast. Team Yelling about them in Anubis. Team, I left her auto go materia on her even though she just has ultimate arrow. Well. There goes my damage. Griffin piss damage. I loved you. But now you're dead. Fuck it. Let's see that animation on Ultima Arrow. good. Fuck it. I'm no coward. Oh wait, does that give him fast cast? Hmm. Mm. 
maybe Galaxy Brain moves here. Uh, oh, big punches. Speaking of dreams, well, well, knocked off the stadium. We're fine. We're fine. It's only the apocalypse level. The haste, though. The haste is the real problem. Hold up, actually. Let me think here. You need to do that. You need to... Oh, I hit the wrong button. Duh, I missed. Don't worry. I get the retry. Bravery too. All right, now we're in a sticky situation. Who's ready to eat shit? Who is dead and loving it? Yes. Your number should not be that high in this fight. Let's fix that. Much more acceptable. Are we going to get there before buffs won't run off? Is the question. Possibly. Lightning strikes is a very good move. If you weren't aware of this. It's <laughs> already gone. Whack.
Give me that instant damage. Yes! Numbers! Consider, though. We transition immediately into the next Paralyze. And the 30-30 is about to wear off, so this is going to be a uh, slog for this final I'm waiting for a dream roar or something like that, but I think I'll safely do a dual dance. Oof! Ah. There's that 30-30 just gone. Also, my haste, gone. This is fine. We're still in a good shape to actually finish this. It's just going to be rough. Alright, the move that slows. That you generally don't see. That I forgot actually shows up in the final phase. This is fine. Maybe the ball. Doable. Not recommended, but doable. <laughs> cheat sheet here of when <sighs> buffs go off.
Okay. This is fine because she's building meter. Remember what I said about uh, quite a bit ago about get used to it. We're going to see that eye quite a bit today. Well... I can actually probably do a bit more work with this party um, if I were to switch Null over from sword damage to build meter faster. That could probably work. Uh, but for now, I think we're solid. By the way, this is pretty standard for how this boss goes, and it feels like this is how uh, a good number of dream fights will probably go, is that they are not super overbearing in the sense of, like, they, ta they take a bit. They're beefy. Everything's timed up perfectly. Might need a brain second for a moment here. Alright, pretty soon my 30-30 is going to wear off. I think I want to wait a little bit before recasting it. Ultimate flack there, I am 90% sure is just a gravity move.
So, a move of casting Sarah's, uh, BSB is actually to give her a bit more of a stat buff. Like, no joke. There's Roar. Which I might need to double pop the attack mag. Dream Roar. Whoa, the doubler. If you're not aware, that's probably bad. Just maybe. But we can double her him right back. I hate to pop this now, because I like to save it for the Paralyze, but I don't feel safe. That was a good call on my part. Oh, mainly even more so for that. Oh, this is going to suck. Hmm. What? Oh, nope, we got there. Huh, bravery, huh? Powerful. Just what I needed. Thank you, Vanille. You are a treasure. I hate to pop this early, but... Alright, Ultimate Blizzaga. That's fine for the most part. And that does put me in the range of exactly what I want to do. Not quite, just yet. Oh, I am completely screwed up now. Perfecto. 
held turn exactly like I needed to. Vanille is a treasure. A Doe Vanille with her BSV is absolutely stellar. Let nobody tell you otherwise. Well, attack buffs wore off. Such is life. It's fine. Fantasy Unbound is here. For haste. For haste and many stat buffs. Do I have his OSB? No. Huh, that hits different slots. It's fine. Yeah, I mistimed the arcane, which is usually how I knock myself into the final phase. And we die. Lightning wasn't doing much anyway. It's fine. We're in the final phase now, by the way. And uh, damage is non-existent at this point. It is a sad truth that our adventure ends here. Oh, I can recast the chain. Of course. But uh, he is going to hit in rage pretty fast. At which point, everything goes to complete hell. Bravery is the first part of that.
Does Tyro USB counter? No. Sad. This is... we are dead. When Lightning's Arcane did not fire off at the proper time, this party was dead walking. Sadness. Again, this fight is more doable, or at least very simple to hit this final phase. But once you hit the final phase, the boss uh, becomes very rude. Nonetheless, I hit 99% once. I think off screen I can probably do it with like better execution, not doing this for through the goddamn emulator. Just kill me. <laughs> I don't think this is a bad fight. I think that's the one thing that we need to put the bullet hole in. Uh, dreams are supposed to be like the 350s are supposed to be very hard and to finish. That's why there's no like even uh, time beat all that <laughs> Zane Zero thank you for the reset uh, but that's why there's no time rewards it's just beating the fight and also like here be before we cut this segment of this overarching Bob video I forgot there was a voice on there I got very confused for a moment there uh, before we cut this segment of the video, let's actually jump in and see what not getting that last 90% I miss. So here is what I missed out on. Uh, 30 vitality motes, 5 crystals, and money. Eh, that hurts a little bit, but like, all the rest of it is... Fine, and look what you get for just getting to 50. And then what's the um, the standard rewards? Some crystals. Crystals are farmable now. This is two trips in that dungeon. That's it. So, the 30 vitality, I think, is like the only thing I'm a little like, eh, that sucks. I'll give it a couple more attempts. Because, again, I don't find the fight to, to suck. The fight is actually kind of fun to do. Um, but I think it's feasible to get to this 90% I think I showed that only having I mean the chain is a chain but the chain was mainly there to buff Sarah that's the big thing I think it's pretty feasible to get to that 90% I had one USB two USBs um and hell, I could probably sub somebody out and make that easy and easier. But I saw a lot of reaction, a lot of blowback with the... Because this guy is not as vulnerable to debuffs. Doesn't give as much as, as a uh, break resist. Doesn't give as much elemental damage as Iron Giant. I actually saw this on Reddit. Um, but I still think it's feasible. And it's pretty fair. So I want to say that this isn't... We'll see if this is a, a a outlier or how the next dream fight actually shakes out. 